At Panda Narbat tweets, whatever happened to that Sandman movie JGL was supposed to be attached to a little while back? Anything new? Um, well, I think the last thing we heard was just a couple of months ago. He was uh, the the original writer of the book, who I confused with another author. Remember, right. he, th- he, he thought it, we were talking about Alan Moore. Yes, I thought yeah. we were talking. We were about talking Moore. about Neil Gaiman because he was like, I wouldn't let that crazy person I think, on. I, I was like, Wacko, and they were like, like, Why are you saying what he's is wrong with Campia? Yeah, he's totally the nicest confused, guy in the world. That. Yeah. But anyway, they're still working out story. And so Joseph Gordon-Levitt isn't just attached to write. I mean, he's taken on like a producer's role and stuff like that as well. Mm -hmm. So the last we heard from a couple of months ago, they're still working out details of story and things like that. I've heard nothing to suggest that the project has come off the rails or that's not happening. I just don't expect, you know, I think a lot of us, we've become very spoiled. I know I have. That once we hear that they're working on a movie, we expect to hear who's in it tomorrow. You know, a lot of times movies take like three, four, five years to gestate and really get going. So don't worry about it. I think it's still coming. Anything to add to that? Yeah, no, I, I'm sure they're still working on it. And I mean, that's exactly what you said. Everyone's got their plates are probably full for two years. And they're like, all right, let's get the spine done. Then we'll get the writing done. And so we'll hear like, I'm sure we'll hear uh, casting decisions sometime next year. Yeah, was, you know? Yeah, the development process yeah. takes a while in general, um, especially now with the because i don't know if it plays into the dc movie slate if it does maybe that's something that they have to also see as more movies release maybe they're waiting to see what happens in batman v superman with how the, the audience receives it how suicide squad does i don't know if it ties in it may or may not but if it does maybe they want to tie it in so that could also be you know holding it off for a bit this would be a tough one to tie in though i mean i've always made i have nothing to base this on i've just always made the assumption that it'll be its own standalone thing and not tied in but just that doesn't necessarily mean that's the way it's going to be like chef do you think they're going to tie this into the greater dcu or do you think it's going to be its own unique thing i think it could stand on its own to be its own unique thing with no problem i would like to see it tied in some peripheral way um that you know it could go either way, but I would like to see it stand on its own. I mean, I know there, The Rock was talking about, well, the Shazam is going to be part of uh, the DC Cinematic Universe, but the Sandman on its own is just so rich. It doesn't need anything else, really. So I, I could see it really standing on its own and not tied in and be completely successful. So, All right, what's next? At D underscore Vance tweets, Hey, AMC, do you have any news on the Venom movie still happening, or is it the same writer as the Aunt May movie? <laughs> um. Well, look, as far as I know, all the plans that Sony had have been swept away. I think they're going to keep elements, which, you know, keeping uh, Goddard is, is probably one of the, uh, the, the signs that they're going to keep some elements of stuff. He's probably going to end up directing the, the next Spider-Man movie. But uh, as far as I know, it's gone. Now, that doesn't mean that Sony doesn't have plans, a new set of plans for what they might do with Venom in the future. I'm sure Venom will be a part of this new Spider-Man cinematic universe, no doubt. But that the old cinematic, well, the newest old (laughs) Spider-Man cinematic universe, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man cinematic universe, which they were planning this, the uh, Venom uh, character to be a part of, that's gone. So whether they come up with new plans, I'm sure they will, but I haven't heard of anything yet. Have you guys heard anything? No, but I just, the fact, they're definitely going to use Venom, and, and I think Venom was used so poorly in the last Raimi one that they have to use him again. Um, and I think that they'll wind up using him tied into, maybe they can even use him with, once they tie him in with the Avengers and everything, you're down the line. You probably have the Sinister Six as the first right. villains that he that he is going up against. And then you can, well, I know Venom's not necessarily a villain, but we'll, we'll see how they use him. Yeah, I think, I mean, like the Aunt May movie that's called Agent of Confusion, that's the one that me and Mark Ellis are currently working on. So, and that's really top secret. So, I really shouldn't even be talking about it. You'll see it. You'll see some stuff later in the next few months. It'll slowly get unrolled. You'll see. Um, but yeah, as far as Venom, yeah, he's going to, I think all of the characters that are associated with Spider Man from now on are going to be tied into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, I'm sure you'll see characters from all the rest of the Marvel movies pop up in Sinister Six and in Venom. And in Carnage, if they make a Carnage film. So it's like, or Black Cat, any of the Spider-Man properties. Now you can actually see Spider-Woman possibly join the Avengers. And that's not not possible. I think it's all of that's possible. The death of Aunt May lived. What happened? (laughs) (laughs) All right, what's next? At Mangan Lewis tweets, now that Peter Jackson is done with The Hobbit, does this improve the chances of getting a District 9 sequel? Well, I don't think Peter Jackson's schedule really had anything to do with how quickly or how, how slowly they were moving on a District 9 sequel. Chappie might have something to do with slowing things down on a District 9 mm. sequel. Uh, I Look, I'm one of those guys, I've wanted to see a District 9 follow-up because the first film ended 
as it felt like the end of chapter one. Yeah. That's what it really felt like. And what happens to him after that? I mean, that's a story I think that needs to be told. And I really, 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 really wish he had done that instead of Chappie. Uh, I, I wasn't happy with Chappie. I had heard it wasn't any good, but I still went into it with an open mind because I also heard Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wasn't any good, and I actually ended up liking that. But no, Chappie, I did not. And I really wish he had done that. It may hurt the chances. That is what might hurt the chances, I think, of them getting a District 9-2 going. It might put Neil Blomkamp in a position where, dude, I need a hit again. Let's let's do District Nine and maybe someone to give him the chance. I don't know, Christian. What do you think? Well, I think it's going to count on aliens. I think once once. Well, you, yeah, there's aliens. Yeah. I totally forgot uh, about aliens. Once yeah. you see, once you see aliens, and then if he knocks that out of the park, all is well, and you'll probably see District Nine. I'd like to see him go away from sci-fi. He, yeah. he know he knows sci-fi, and as well, I mean, after aliens, I, I'm giving the guy the benefit of the doubt. And there are some people out there who actually enjoyed Chappie. I'm I'm not one of them, but there are people out there who enjoyed it. He still knows how to paint the sci-fi picture. Let's see him do that with aliens, get back on track, and then I'd love to see a, a sequel to District Nine. Well, I haven't even seen Chappie yet. I'm bummed out. Every single person I know did not like it, or at least people's opinions that I uh, I respect were like. It's a disappointment. So that's a bummer. Since to, when have you respected my opinion? I wasn't talking about you, you can't be. Okay, uh, okay. You set yourself up for that one. Um, no, I mean, so I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to see it. I hope I'm not bummed out, but, you know, whatever. Uh, District, I, I was always thinking it would be called District 10. Mm -hmm. It felt yeah. like that was like yeah. the next, you know. But, yeah, I, man, I would. I really hope he makes that. I hope he hits it out of the you know, knocks it out of the park for with Aliens, and it's not a disappointment. It's incredible. It's what everybody wanted from Aliens 3. Hopefully he does that, and then that gives him the clout to make District 10. So I would love to see that, and I personally would like him to stay in science fiction. We don't have enough strong science fiction guys in there, but once again, I didn't see Chappie, yeah. so I don't have I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave forever. I just want to see what else, because he's such a talented filmmaker. Right. He really is. I want to see what else he can sure. do. Um, like, you know, someone like, like David Fincher, he moves around also. I like to see him do something else just to see what else he's got. Right. You made a great point, though, about how if he knocks it out of the park with aliens, all is well, right? It goes back. There's an old sports analogy that says winning solves everything. Mm, sure. I mean, so you can hear you can have a favorite sports team has got all these problems. But when they, when they win, all those problems seem to go away. And if he knocks it out of the park with aliens, you're right. It's all is well again. That would be great. It's the same thing with Shyamalan. I, I, as, as people say about Shyamalan, everyone's like, oh, he's just so many turds after the next. If he made another movie that was incredible. He's back. He's back. He's back. <laughs> We'd all be saying it too. Right. I kid you not. I re I honestly thought I was one of those chumps that thought Avatar was going to be that film. No, you weren't. The, I know trailer, I, the, the trailer was. They, I didn't mind. The, I liked the trailer. The trailer was great. That's what I, I'm yeah, saying. yeah. So That's I'm, right, I'm yeah. one of those guys who I actually thought that that Avatar was going to be the Sham Hammer's return to greatness. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.